What's going on everyone? Toshi coming at you with a brand new Artery Gear Fusion video. The title is no lie, I actually did clear the hottest, hardest, not hottest, the hardest boss in the whole game. I don't know if that boss is hot, I don't know, it's kind of ugly. But anyways, aside the point, it took forever. I just want to say, uh, first and foremost, if you were struggling with the boss and you weren't able to clear it, do not feel pressure to clear it. The rewards are okay. To me, if you're really struggling and you're like resetting over a hundred times, it's not worth the rewards, in my honest opinion. Unless you're like me and you have a completionist attitude, right? You want 100% everything in the game, then go for it. But I'm letting you know that it is one of the most hair-pulling, like, like, a, like, events you'll ever go through. It absolutely drove me to the brick of insanity. I will say one thing, though. Um, it definitely could have been a lot better. And I learned that later on, because I actually did use Tony for my runs which is actually a pretty valuable unit. I will be using Tony more in the future. I love Tony now. She's so good. But to side the point, I definitely, like it's going to be a lot harder for people that do not have Lobelia, right? If you don't have Lobelia, you can't cheese it like I do, okay? If you do not have, you know, um, Lie of the Cyrus, then you're going to really struggle, right? So I want to say this. If you do not have the units to get the job done, right? If you have Madoka, use Madoka over Lila, right? Um, but if you're missing Madoka and lila you might as well not even try it it is that difficult but with that being said i hope you all enjoy the run oh my god okay never mind she is fucking hot as hell anyways really quickly before we actually do begin or i show you guys the run i i did the personal clear i will show you like step by step how i did it so if you want to imitate the team maybe other characters and you're struggling i can show you exactly how i did it and i'll show you the gear i have and the characters afterwards i thought it'd be very helpful for uh, some of you so we've landed these stun on all three targets this is very important because as long as all three of these crystals are stunned the boss will have a zero percent damage reduction this is a part of the boss's passive in this boss fight right so we're gonna actually go ahead and s1 here to lower the attack gauge of the boss we landed nice now this is very important you want lobelia s2 to hit the targets because this is actually going to increase the duration of their stun by one turn so they're gonna they're gonna have a two stun two turn stun right if it works Right, if it lands, they will have a two turn stun, and that's very, very nice. All right, so it seems like we landed. Did we hit the other crystal? Hopefully, we did. Yep, we hit all crystals, so it's very, very good. All right, so at this point, after you hit all three targets with the stun, and after you've hit all three targets with Lobelli S2, and it landed, right, and you increase their stun duration by one turn, you are good to go. Honestly, you could just. You don't have to worry about restarting. You can just go ahead and do your normal combos and stuff like that. What you would normally do with the boss here. I'll show a little bit of the run, but I'm actually going to get into like the end of my run as well in the video. Um, and here, I'm going to go ahead and just S2. You can kind of use your skills. Make sure, though, that you do save some of your skills. Um, like, for instance, if you're using Heron, make sure you save your Heron S3, right? Um, this here, because it cleanses the debuffs, all the debuffs. So make sure you hold it. If you see that the boss is coming up with this attack here, right? And this right here will like stun all of your characters. You don't want them to be stunned, right? And it will um, put on the unhealable. You do not want the unhealable on, right? So make sure you save your S3 when you see this skill coming up. It's very important. But since the boss is not anywhere close to being able to use the skills, we're just going to go ahead and use all of our abilities, right? Because that gives CR to our team. Combat readiness, that's hack bar, action bar, whatever you want to call it. And then here I'm going to go ahead and just S1. Now this is kind of important. With Lobelia, you want to land your S3. Um. Okay, seems like we landed on everybody, which is very nice. And at this point, if you landed all of your abilities... You're good. Your run should be smooth as long as um your Lila doesn't die to random bullshit. Didn't happen to me. Doesn't mean it can't happen to you, but it didn't happen to me, so I think you're fine for the most part. Um, you just kind of just use your abilities as they come. But remember to make sure you always hold your S3 on for hearing whenever you see the bosses this skill come up because you do not want to be stunned and have unhealable. That will literally ruin the run. I've I've been through it a couple of times. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get into the run I had, the ending of it, and uh, it was close, but I actually ended up finishing it.
This is not good. He is so close to. He is so close. He is so close, man. Oh no. This is not good. I should be able to win this. Come on. Come on. Two percent. Come on. Oh my goodness. Woo! I need hearing to boost up. Lila. Oh no, we won. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Dude. This took so long. Oh. I have to rethink my life choices. <laughs> this took me hours and hours and hours of recording. 